Well, hard fought, tough game tonight for Denver, but they found a way. Power play goal by Yako Hakenen in the second, and 23 saves and a shutout for Tanner Gillette. The difference, Pioneers beat Dartmouth one to nothing, and joining me, head coach Jim Montgomery. And coach, when we talked in the pregame, this is pretty much not the type of game that we thought we were going to have coming into this one. Um, and yet Dartmouth came out flying in the first 20 minutes and, and really did a good job of stifling you guys in your own zone. You seem to get over that at the very end of the first period and then that carried over into the second. Yeah, uh, we were uh, we were flat and they came out hard and uh, we talked about how teams get up for us and we have to learn our lessons from our previous games where uh, teams are fearful, they're scared of playing us because of some of the name recognition, what we did last year and uh, they come out and they, they play, uh, when you play scared, you play really hard and you play well. And uh, they were the better team in the first period. But I thought in the second period and third period, I thought we were really good. I thought we, all four lines in 6D, our D-men broke us out really well. I thought Michael Davies played his best period in the third period in a long time after he got hit behind the net. And Eric Fear was by far, uh, he was our best defenseman tonight. I didn't think he had wheels like that. He had this one <laughs> play where he comes around the net and he just kept coming. And, and uh, you don't see Fear that fast usually. No. No. And he went... Uh, yeah, he, he played a tremendous game tonight. I thought, I thought Mitchell on that near goal on, on the shot right off the point, uh, beautiful play by him. And, and that Hakenen just keeps getting better and better, the freshman. Yeah, I mean, like I said, there's a lot of good parts to our game right now. Uh, we know we're not scoring goals, but at least we're playing the right way without the puck and we're not giving up much. Uh, when we do, uh, we got an All-American back there that's answering every time. Yeah, and he seemed to, you know, when Dartmouth though, came out so strong and had those chances, he was very solid tonight. I mean, 23 saves seemed like more. Seemed like there was more traffic, more shots and chances that they had against him. I agree with you. There, there was a lot of bouncing pucks, but he was just square to them, right? And things ended up rolling to corners. Uh, but uh, all in all, it wasn't a good first period, but the last two periods were really good, and we have to build upon that. And we, again, play to our team identity and hopefully establish us uh, as a hard team to play against. Well, and just like what happened, and uh, in the third period on at CC, uh, the numbers don't show it, but I, you know, I thought Borgstrom continued to be Borgstrom tonight. Whatever he did when he put the puck on his stick, um, uh, like that Michigan player did years ago, I, I thought I didn't know whether he was going to shoot it or pass it. But uh, I don't know how you do that while you're skating at almost full speed. That that was the part that was most amazing to me. Yeah, well. Um his skill with the puck is some of the best you'll ever see. So he can do things that most people only dream about, including me. And um, But uh, it was good to see him uh, respond as the team did after a poor first to, to have a good second and third. Yeah, so obviously, uh, you know, a, a tough, greasy win at, at one to nothing. Tomorrow night, these two teams come right back at it again. And, and uh, you know, what do you think you have to do better as far as, uh, you know, getting off to a better start? Just our preparation and an understanding the urgency that we need to play with in order to have success because teams uh, play their best when they're coming in here right now. All right, Coach. Well, congratulations on the win. Talk to you tomorrow. Thanks, Jake. All right, that was Jim Montgomery. We'll come back with the high-energy player of the game. J.J. Lane brought along one of his biggest fans as we come back on Sports Radio 104.3 The Fan.